if you've tried Android as well as iOS is SwiftKey. It's one of the best Android apps available. It turns the keyboard into something much more useful. Its predictive suggestions are really quick, really intuitive, and they learn from you as you type, which is fantastic. And now it's made its way to iOS in form of a note-taking app called SwiftKey Note. Hey guys, I'm Cam from todaysiphone.com and this is a first look at SwiftKey Notes. Now obviously as you load it up you will get a tutorial, you can swipe up, I can connect to Evernote because it does sync notes with Evernote. And once I've done that it'll open up Evernote. I can authorize it for a year and then it will switch back to SwiftKey and let me do my thing. So now any new note that I create will automatically sync with Evernote. I can get started, it goes straight to a tutorial where it shows you typing. And as you do, what you'll see is you'll see our usual iOS 7 keyboard at the bottom, but just above you'll have three, um, three tabs. And in those tabs, you'll find the most likely next word. So it saves you from typing entire words and phrases. And as you use it more, it will learn your phrases and your style and it will make better predictions. So if I tap note, it does that, it puts it in. Swiftly offers corrections, you can do corrections, you can hit corrections here. So you can also format your text if you slide across like so, you've got bold, italic and underlined and I can tap and get started. So if I create a note, I can put in the title of test and I can put just test, testing the new Swift. And you can see I spelt that wrong, but it knows I'm trying to write Swift key, so I can tap that app. So I guess if I highlight it all, highlight it all, I can bold it, I can make it italic, I can underline it, I can indent it, like so, or I can make it a bullet point. It's really, really good, really simple to use. Now what you can do as well, obviously you've got a microphone at the bottom, so you can dictate if you want to. Uh, if I hit done, I've got notebooks. You'll see that it shows me all my notebooks that I've already got within Evernote. You can search tags, you can add tags to your notes, and that's all through Evernote. Settings here, you can add, change your Evernote account. Obviously, you can add various languages. Uh, obviously, I've got English there, that's enabled, but you can also add German, American English, uh, two forms of Spanish, English, uh, Spanish from Spain and then US Spanish. Um, you've also got Canadian and French French and Italian uh, as well. You can check your usage. And this is what's really good about SwiftKey. This is what I loved about SwiftKey on Android. It tells you how much more efficient you are. It tells you how many keystrokes you've saved just by using it. it tells you how many typos it's corrected and how many correct words it has predicted. Um, it's really, really good. It's a nice little note-taking app, and obviously with it having SwiftKey built in and Evernote uh, Sync also built in, it does make it very useful and very versatile and very efficient. Um, I've never really been one for taking notes on my iPhone, but from using this, I think I might just start doing that because it won't be as frustrating as it normally is. That is a quick first look at SwiftKey for iOS or SwiftKey Notes for iOS. It's free on the App Store right now. I'll leave a link in the description box for you to download it. And I'll see you again soon.